Crimes and Misdemeanors is the 18th film written and directed by Woody Allen. Released in 1989, it has become one of Allen's most critically beloved films and his first great drama. But how well do you know it? Well, here's 10 things about Crimes and Misdemeanors. If it bends, it's funny. If it breaks, it's not funny. In the same year, Alan joined Martin Scorsese and Francis Ford Coppola in New York Stories, an anthology film. Alan's part was called Oedipus Rex and it was Alan's return to broad comedy. Sheldon, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. The original title for Crimes and Misdemeanors was to be Brothers. But there was actually a TV sitcom with that name, so Alan had to change it. The TV series was cancelled by the time the film was released. Alan cast Martin Landau in the role of Judah. This would earn him his second Oscar nomination in a row for Best Supporting Actor, having been nominated for his work on Tucker, The Man and His Dream. He would finally win in 1994 for Ed Wood. The Old Testament or Shakespeare, murder will out. Who said anything about murder? Alan Alder also stars in this film, the first of three appearances in Alan films for him. His role was supposed to be a cameo, but Alan's major rewrites centered around Alder's character. I like mental stimulation. You tried shock therapy? <laughs> that's good, that's funny! Those major rewrites meant that some people were cut out completely. Daryl Hannah's role was reduced to just a few seconds and Sean Young had her storyline eliminated completely. Playing Cliff's niece is Jenny Nichols. Despite the top billing, this was pretty much her only film role. She is the daughter of director Mike Nichols, and she has the funny honour of being, by far, the least successful top billed name ever in an Allen film. I see a cab. If we run quickly, we can kick the crutch from that old lady and get it. The subject of Cliff's documentary is played by Martin Bergman. He was a real-life professor of psychology at New York University. He died in 2014, aged 100. We have not succeeded to create a really and entirely loving image of God. Making his second film with Alan is cinematographer Sven Nykvist. Nykvist had worked with Alan's hero, Igmar Bergman, on some of the greatest films of all time. Alan uses bits of other films throughout the story, each making subtle comments on the actions of our characters. We see bits of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, This Guns for Hire, Happy Go Lucky, and The Last Gangster. We also hear a bit of Singing in the Rain. Finally, eyes play a big role in the film, and Alan toyed with various eye-related titles. Judah's life work is with eyes, and Ben is going blind. But it is the eyes of God that loom over the film. The eyes of God. What a phrase to a young boy. And that's 10 things about crimes and misdemeanors. Find out more about this film in our book, The Woody Allen Watcher's Guide, out now on Kindle and iBooks. Go to WoodyAllenPages.com for all the latest news and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more. He was more. very eloquent on the subject of love, didn't you think? Yeah, I wish I had read him before I got married, you know? It would have saved me a gallbladder operation. Yeah.